Y'all already know what it is. Jay Williams, let's live life. And we're back. Craziest things I saw while in the hole. Huh. I'm a little bunny rabbit. Let's relive it. Now, if you get in, you get locked up, get in anything you shouldn't be into while you are locked up, your ass is going to the hole, a.k.a. jail. When you hear people saying, man, they took him straight to jail, that means you went to the hole. I've been to the hole more times than I can count. My brother is, is currently at Wallens Ridge. He's got me beat. This dude's been locked up three years. He's been on like seven different compounds. He's been to the hole over 30 times. Brother definitely holds the record when it comes to going to the hole. But in my years locked up, I did a lot of hole trips, a lot of trial and error, a lot of being young and stupid, wilding out, being reckless. That stuff is going to get you jammed up, thrown in the hole. Don't think prison is like what you see on TV. Don't think there's just these gray areas where, you know, just anything goes. There's cameras everywhere. Somebody's always watching. And for the most part, whatever you're doing, eventually you're going to get caught for and go to the hole. So I'm in Riverside. That's the regional jail out here. So they send dudes from all different counties and cities. It's like a big jail that houses people from everywhere. And at the time, we had these little flex pens. I mean, it bends. You can roll a card up, put it inside. It makes it more sturdy. But it's really hard to write with these flex pens. Like, it's like writing with a spaghetti noodle. I get the bright idea, the guards got a table. It's like a, a little, like a horseshoe looking thing at the front of the, the you know, the, when you pod, when you come in, where a guard sits. I go up there one day, my homeboy distracts the guard while the guard ain't looking. I snatch a whole bunch of pens. I'm young and stupid. He goes to write something down. I done took all the damn pens. He realizes the pens are gone. They run the cameras back. There's your boy up there stealing pens. I done stole the ink pens. Of course, it might sound petty to you. Ink pens? They ain't gonna put you... Yes, straight to the hole I went. Locked me down. But we had a dude in our pod at the time named Hobbs. And Hobbs is... Hobbs looks like a lumberjack. But a mentally challenged lumberjack. You could tell by the way he talked. The way he walked. His facial expressions that Hobbs wasn't all there. Hobbs didn't really bother nobody. Hobbs was openly gay. He would say disturbing things. People didn't like to mess with Hobbs or be around Hobbs because he was just weird. Hobbs was also one of the only people I ever saw in Riverside get a single cell. And that was because Hobbs had been to the hole now several times for putting things in his butt that shouldn't be there. It gets stuck. Nurse would have to come in. They put Hobbs in the hole. I'm in the hole. Been in there a while now. I'm bored out my mind. Nothing to do. I done read every book I can get my hands on. I hear the door pop one day and I look out. Here comes old Hobbs into the pod. In his handcuffs. They got his little stuff that they're going to lay keeping his cell bagged up. They change him out, put him in a red jumpsuit, stick him in the hole with the rest of us. Now, being in the hole, there's not much to do. So talking is something you're going to hear a lot of. People are going to reveal things about themselves, about their crimes, about their life that you may or may not want to know. But some dudes just can't take the silence. They have to reach out and talk to people. Hobbs was one of those people. Hobbs goes on to tell us that he was raised in Hopewell, Virginia, and at a young age, he was being molested by the old man next door, and that this is what ultimately turned him gay. That's part of it. We're all like, damn, that's messed up. The dude ever get caught? He's like, caught? No, I loved him. He's like, I messed with him all the way up until I was 20-some years old, and he died. He's like, he wasn't molesting me. I love that man. We're like, no, you were a kid. The dude was molesting you. Like He's a chomo. He defended this dude, defended this dude, and defended this dude. Hobbs gets these trays we call finger food trays. It means he gets things we don't get. It might be, you know, fries, nuggets, something similar to things you can only eat with your fingers. He's not supposed to get any type of eating utensils, nothing, because as I told you, Hobbs has a habit 
of sticking things in his butt. And the nurses are tired of retrieving it. One day they bring Hobbs a tray. Guards come by a little bit later and Hobbs is like, hey, I need to see the nurse. And they're like, what's going on? He's like, I'll tell the nurse. I need to see the nurse. They're like, well, if you're not going to tell us what's going on, we're not calling the nurse. Hobbs tells him, something's stuck in my butt. We all hear this. I'm like, what? Hobbs is, I would say obese. I wouldn't say borderline. He's obese. Big, big man, right? Got a little sweet dial down, you know, dial down voice because he tries to sound like a woman, but he just looks like a burly lumberjack. They come in there and the nurse says, so what's going on, Hobbs? Hobbs says, he, he, they put a spork on my tray. And she said, you better not have. You didn't. I know you didn't. He said, oh, I did. She's like, well, you're going to get it out. I'm not getting it out. She gives Hobbs some gloves. Hobbs said, if I could get it out, you think I'd be calling you? This is this young, pretty nurse, maybe 20, 21 years old, that has now got to go in a cell with this inmate and dig up in his ass and get this plastic spork out. She comes out the cell several times and looks green in the face. She is just disgusted. Her stomach's retching. She's uh, gagging, but trying to keep and stay professional. But she's, uh, she go back in, try some more, come back out. She calls another nurse. Uh, finally, they get it out. The whole goes on as usual. It's quiet, reading books. You know, it's nighttime, it's dark. <clears throat> well, they bring you these cleaning supplies around. It's a white toilet brush with a handle on it, like clean your toilet with. Spray bottles, a couple rags so you can wipe down your floors, your walls, clean your sink area. It's not a whole lot of stuff. Hobbs is not supposed to have any of this unsupervised. <laughs> not supposed to. You don't give this dude anything with a type of handle, anything that's stiff, because you already know what's going down. So Hobbs tells everybody in the pod one day, he says, aside from the old man, and this is crazy, but I got to, I can't, you can't make this shit up. He said, aside from the old man that molested me, one of the other reasons that I'm gay is because I have a little tiny micro penis. And everybody's like, man, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, you're just making stuff up now. He's like, no, I've really got a micro penis. Like, he's like, I could probably get a award for this. Like, this thing is so small. And everybody's, they were dying laughing, right? Dudes, right? Well, I'm at the door, we're all just laughing clowning man and dude is like laughing with us like he's being dead ass serious he's like i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show y'all we're like no nah, we don't want to see that shit man you're tripping bro keep your pants on they come around with his cleaning supplies and they give hobbs the cleaning supplies unsupervised they give him the toilet brush all these things he shouldn't have you get an hour out the hole every day this hole didn't have a lot of people in it and you could come out and you could sit at the table and write a letter. You could take a shower. You could use the phone. You got one hour to do all your business. I'm in my cell and I'm asleep. And I hear somebody yelling my name. Jay, Jay, Jay. And eventually I get up, sit up in my bunk and I yell. I'm like, yo. Hey, said, man, look out the door. You got to see this shit. You're not going to believe it. I said, what's up? They said, go to the door. I look out in the day room area and Hobbs is out there butt ball naked hopping around going I'm a little bunny I'm a little bunny and he's got the toilet bowl brush stuck up his butt and just a little white ball that you're supposed to clean the inside of the toilet bowl with is all you see hanging out from between his butt cheeks and this dude is hopping I'm a little bunny I'm a little bunny hopping around in circles and the guards are in the control booth beating on the windows because this dude's butt ball naked. Nothing on. With the toilet bowl brush hanging out of his butt with a little white fuzzy ball on it in between his butt cheeks. And there's nothing gay about what I'm about to say. There's no dick watching involved. There's none of that. You know how a mannequin looks? Like if you, you've ever seen a mannequin with no clothes and it's just got that hump? That was Hobbs. Hobbs really had no penis. And if he did, it was hidden inside the burly, massive bush that he, I guess, called the front of his body. And they came in there, and nobody wanted to touch him. Who wants to touch a dude that's got the toilet bowl brush hanging out his ass, right? 
He's still hopping. Now he stands up and he is running around. And they're like, come here, put the cuffs on. And, you know, he's got, he's just disgusted. Nobody wants to touch him. The guards are arguing, you ain't covering, you ain't covering. I'm not touching him. Get him, get him. He'd run around one side of the table. He was just, we're in the cell. And we are laughing. I'm laughing so hard that my stomach hurts. Hobbs ends up getting taken up out of there. They finally get him cuffed. They, you know, move the toilet bowl brush. And they take Hobbs up out of there, right? They take Hobbs to a mental hospital. I would get shipped off to prison. I go to receiving not long. You know, I get out the hole. I get into a fight. I get put back in the hole. I do the remainder of my time in the jail, in the hole. They come to the hole one day and they tell me, hey, pack your stuff. I said, where am I going? They said, well, you're not going back to population. Tomorrow you're leaving for prison. I'm like, yes, I'm out of here. Start saying, you know, what's up? Telling everybody I mess with in the hole. Dudes I rock with. Yo, I'm gone. They ship me in the morning. And just like that, I'm off to prison. Didn't see Hobbs come back. Didn't hear anything else about Hobbs. I've been up Greensville now about seven months. I come back from Chow one day, and there stands Hobbs. Right in the front entryway of the building. When you come in, there's a big room. It's a good-sized room. Then there's a gate you got to go through. That gate closes. There's a control booth in front of you, and there's a bar door here and a bar door here with two different pods. You either go left or go right to turn them where you live. Well, Hobbs is standing out front of that first gate with the sergeant. And Greensville was just a live wire. If you you were like a first timer, you were scared, that place would shake you just from the look of things, from the dudes, the caliber of people they had there. Hobbs was scared to death. He's standing there with his plastic bags and the sergeant's arguing with him, telling him, you're going to have to go in there. Hobbs tells him, I'm not going in there. He said, yes, you are. You're going in there. You're in prison. You don't get to determine if you go to prison or not. You're going in there with everybody else. Hobbs tells him again, I'm not, look, I don't want to go in there. I'm not going in there. They pop the first door. The sergeant tries to push Hobbs into the little Sally Port area so he can either go left or go right. And we just came back from Chow now. And we're standing here watching this because these two are, you know, they're arguing and stuff. So we can't go forward till he figures out the situation with Hobbs. Hobbs steps inside Sally Port as the sergeant pushes him, turns around face to face with the sergeant and just hits him. Boom! Punches the sergeant in his face. Stumbles him back. Sergeant falls backwards and is falling. And Hobbs rushes him. Tackles him right there in the middle of the floor. Drops his prison bags <coughs> with all his stuff in it and commences to whooping the sergeant's ass. The sergeant takes his arm, pushes it up underneath Hobbs' throat, trying to flip him, and Hobbs starts biting. He's biting this man on his arm. He's leaned forward, trying to bite through the padding on his, his uniform, biting him. Anywhere he can bite him, he's biting him. His hands, arm, face, head. Hobbs, uh, bite, 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 bite. Eventually, the sergeant just starts hitting him. They're both big boys. Sergeant just boom, 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 till he fucks Hobbs up. Hobbs starts leaking. Sergeant flips him over, pulls his cuffs out, cuffs him. By now, other officers have come in. They've all put their knees on Hobbs' neck, put their, their knees on his back. And we're standing there looking at this shit, and I'm like, you know, it doesn't shock me, man. I'd seen worse. Hobbs looks at all of us and says, hey, hey, told you I wasn't going in there. Hobbs done beat up an officer. So now you're getting more time added to your sentence. Now you're going to go to the mountains, to a higher level, assault an officer, five more years added to your sentence. And that was time, that was the last time I seen old Hobbs from Hopewell, the I'm a Mr. Bunny. God, you see some crazy things. Somebody asked me the other day, was like, Jay, when are you gonna run out of stories? I'm like, run out of stories? I've been being locked up since I was a child. My last bid was over 10 years nonstop, day for day. Do you know how much stuff you see in that amount of time? I have a really good memory. You know what I mean, if you're one of them dudes that can't remember what he ate last Tuesday, you might not have many stories. But I've seen some crazy, crazy shit while locked up, man. Some of it's funny, comical, sad, you know, all these different things. But, hey, it is what it is, man. I tell y'all all the time, this is a crazy world we live in. Prison, jail, detention homes, penitentiaries, all those are just crazier worlds inside this world.
But anyways, man, y'all know what it is. I'm just trying to keep y'all entertained. Are you not entertained? This is Jay Williams. Let's live life to all my real ones. There are real ones watching because y'all still watching me. I'm a little bunny. I'm a little bunny. Y'all know how we do, man. Salute.